All right, so I'm going to start this video off by saying, um, go use my code at gfuel.com for a discount. I got to, I got to plug the gfuel by the end of the month, uh, cause I have uploaded probably three videos. I haven't really uploaded. I haven't really done anything. I haven't played COD. I've been playing a lot of Halo. So once again, I'm going to say this, go subscribe to the Halo channel. We've put more videos out over there in the past month and I have on this channel. Uh, we've been streaming on Twitch a lot more too. I wanted to make this video on Vanguard just because I wanted to talk about it, but at the same time, I don't know what to really talk about or like make a video on because I, um, I mean, I thought about playing World War II for this video, which, you know, I might end up doing. I'll just download it just in case, but I didn't, I did not play the alpha. The gameplay that's on the screen here, and that's from uh, Hummus Thunder. I really didn't know what to do as far as, I guess, this video goes but at the same time i also wanted to talk about the whole vanguard thing i so my thoughts on the the cinematic trailer and stuff like that really cool you know bombastic just like call of duty always does and i thought that the thing at gamescom like the campaign stuff looked really really good a lot of people were saying it looked like shit i don't understand that i don't understand how you could say that looks like shit um in my opinion but you know that it that, i guess that just depends on everyone else's uh haste I, I don't know. So I guess while I'm waiting for this, I see a lot of people saying that it looks like Modern Warfare 2019. Um, yeah, that's because it's on the Modern Warfare engine. If you played Respawn, you mainly played Shipment 24-7 in Modern Warfare 2019. For Respawn, if this game works similar to Modern Warfare 2019, I just don't know what the... F I don't even know. If Search and Destroy is really good in this game, then that's where I can see it thriving. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I'm not, you guys know me. I'm not really a big fan of mounting. I'm not really a big fan of doors and things like that. I like the fact that they're doing the destructible buildings and things like that. It's very similar to Battlefield in that regard, but I feel like Call of Duty will put its own take on it. Obviously, Warzone will have an integration with Vanguard and all that good stuff. A lot of the stuff that they're doing with this game is the complete opposite of what world war ii was and when i say that i mean uh, i actually tweeted this out when i saw the vanguard trailer i said it looks like sledgehammer games took what everyone hated about world war ii and made vanguard the complete opposite so i guess the first real example would be the war on all fronts so instead of focusing on just the united states or just germany they're focusing on multiple instead of just one and i feel like i can speak for everybody myself included when i say that i was really bummed out that world war ii was really linear as far as campaign goes but it also didn't dive into more of world war ii i feel like that's something world at war did really well even though it was only two fronts i mean the campaign made up for it because it had great characters and story and all that stuff but the fact that the, they're willing to uh, dive deeper into world war ii and not just focus on the typical cliche stuff it's really, really nice. I'll say that the whole Gamescom thing looked really scripted. I was watching it while I was at work. And although it's Call of Duty and things like that, it's really scripted. So, you know, that it is what it is. I just couldn't judge the gunplay or anything like that based on the campaign because it's way different in campaign and multiplayer. I think that the Modern Warfare 2019 engine needs to be the standard for Call of Duty now. Call of Duty's been running on the same engine for a very long time. And I think it's time to move on from that. And I think that was made apparent from Modern Warfare 2019 into Cold War and how a lot of people were kind of disappointed with Cold War's engine and how it went back to that traditional style, which isn't bad. To be honest, I don't think I would dislike Cold War if it wasn't for the streak system. I just don't, I just don't like that. That just kills the entire game for me. And then the skill-based matchmaking on top of it is just... That's a whole other thing. But once again, the skill-based matchmaking uh, is just going to be there. It's there to stay. That's more of a publisher deal than the developer. The devs have no control over that. They just make what we play. They make the games. And I, I will always stand by that. And I will always defend the devs from now on because I know that. If they have a great anti-cheat, which they said that they're making, um, that, that's fine. I mean, that's all that we've really needed for the past couple games, especially with the crossplay with PC and all that good stuff. I think the behind cover, like I, I, they have like a technical term for it, but when you're behind cover, and like you point your gun over and like you're shooting somebody or whatever when you're behind cover. Uh, I think that's a really cool mechanic. I don't see it being effective or anything like that, but I think it's a cool new addition that they've built on from mounting. And the fact that they've been able to do that with the Modern Warfare 2019 engine is really, really nice. So the alpha. So number one, I don't have a PlayStation 5. And number two, I'm not going to play it on my PS4 Pro because my PS4 Pro would sound like a jet engine if I did that. So I wasn't going to do that, but I did watch a good amount of it. And I will say that it looked pretty good. 
um graphically a lot of the times when you're watching this gameplay it's through someone else's capture card on a console and so when you're watching it through the capture card which goes through the computer which goes th to the stream it's all just eh. i was i'm gonna wait and i'm gonna see what's up um i want to play the private beta but i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't think it's gonna be the best call of duty game ever made and i don't think that it's gonna be one of those things that that's gonna blow everyone out of the water i think the new mechanics are cool as far as like gimmicks go and and you'll probably see the behind cover like mounted ish kills thing you'll see that challenge used for camos i feel like that's a gimmick for camos and things like that which will be an absolute bitch good luck to all of you that are trying to do that i want to see call of duty succeed like i want to be real with you guys i want to see call of duty succeed i feel like a lot of people are just waiting for modern warfare 2 not modern warfare 2 remastered i'm talking about the sequel to modern warfare 2019 i think it's really cool that they brought the v2 rocket back i think that's a really good addition to have i didn't really like pay attention to the sound design because like i just don't care at this point point. and this mode that they have it's very similar to like how they did gunfight with modern warfare 2019 and i feel like they did that to kind of test the engine when the open beta goes live i'll probably stream it i don't really know i'm probably not going to get a ps5 anytime soon so i probably won't be able to play the private beta I'll probably play the open beta when i can play on pc and all that stuff but I'm I'm not gonna pay like five six hundred dollars for a, for a, a private beta weekend, you know. I know I could like play more. I could probably play more games or whatever, like you know, Demon Souls and stuff like that, and like God of War and all that. I know like it's a console, so I could play any other game, but like. I just have no desire to get a PS5 at the moment, at least. Yeah. Um, use code Foxy at gfuel.com for 50%, not 50% off. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? I don't know what the discount is. It's either 10 or 30% off right now. You guys can go use my code. I really, really appreciate it. I just kind of wanted to talk about a little bit, uh, a couple things and I'm kind of just rambling at this point because I don't really know what else to talk about. If you guys watch the Spider-Man trailer, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure you have. It's got like almost 500 million views or whatever. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a sweet movie thanks so much for watching guys those are my thoughts on vanguard so far i'm excited but not super excited i'm way more excited for halo infinite to be honest so go go down in the description below and go subscribe to the halo channel if you guys have been looking at my community tab i've been posting stuff about the halo channel down there so yeah thanks so much i'll see you guys later